Yo, what's up guys? This is honestly what it feels like having ADHD. I wanted to make this video because a lot of you guys I know are going through whatever you're going through in your life and it's very hard to self-express it. You know, there's so much stuff that we go through in our lives that just gets unseen and you know, we wanna keep all of our emotions together and be all regulated in our mind mentally but sometimes we just have to let it out. And for anyone who has ADHD, whatever you're going through, just watch this video. I don't care if it's not correlated with what you're doing in life. Watch the video because we all have shit that we're going through in our lives. All right, besides that, thanks for uh, sticking with me. And let me explain how it feels having ADHD. So when you're a child, when you're a child, you know, you're kind of just navigating through life. And obviously ADHD is a mental belief thing because a person who just got diagnosed that they have ADHD, like let's just say they had, the, they had it their whole life and you know, now they're out of like, what, mature, they're out of puberty. And then they go to the doctor for a checkup and they're like, oh, you have ADHD. Well, is that person going to navigate in the way of life from a person who has ADHD? No. For him, he's going to feel fully functional. He's going to feel normal. And that's why I say sometimes it's a belief thing because oftentimes we are indoctrinated with information. You know, we are prescribed information that is not entirely accurate. But for me, in my certain situation, people who navigate life with ADHD, they're super talkative, they say a million things a minute, they talk super fast, and oftentimes they're not focused on a lot of the stuff that need to be done in your day-to-day -day life. Like sometimes driving can be difficult. For me, it's pretty difficult. And also focusing on a certain task that needs to be done that you don't care about. And that's where self-discipline comes in. Like today, I didn't go to the gym. And why did I not go to the gym? Well, I think it's because of my sleep schedule. I need to be sleeping in way earlier. I need to stop going to bed at two in the morning, working or talk talking to people. I got to stop doing that. I got to be going to bed earlier. And people with ADHD, sometimes they have bad time perception, meaning that we don't really know how, how long an hour it really is. Like how, how much stuff can we actually get in an hour? It's actually amazing how, how many tasks you can do in a certain, in a certain uh, time threshold. But sometimes we have terrible time perception. You know, we think we can, we think stuff will take longer than it actually seems. But when you are actually focused on something that you really care about with ADHD, dude, it's game over, bro. That thing gets done like a mile a minute, bro. That's, you are just so locked in on what you're passionate about. And for me, certainly, when I have, um, when I can realize that I'm like, okay, right now I just can't focus. Like today, I didn't take my medication and I was, I was like acting like a monkey, bro. I was acting stupid. So I, I took it, now I'm on it, obviously. Cause I, I wanted, I don't, I don't wanna mess up my day. And the fact that you need to like have a medication to make you not mess up on a day, is a clear sign that you have ADHD and you need to get off of it. Well, you can't get off of ADHD, but the, uh, the diagnosis of the medication you need to get off of. Because as humans, I don't think we need that stuff. I really don't think we need that stuff, guys. You know, for me, when I am um, focusing on business or I'm focusing on, um, well, what else do I really even do? Not a lot. I mean, I do do a lot. I mean, I make the videos, but these don't take long to make. They're just nice and self-expressive videos to motivate and inspire you and get out of your own comfort zone. You know what I mean? So I do this. I work on the games. I negotiate deals with other people, talk to people, network, or whatever. But everyone can do that, right? So it's kind of the matter of prioritizing your day because sometimes it's really hard to prioritize your day when you're on a certain medication because Adderall is supposed to suppress your appetite so you can... Because so like, look, when you have ADHD your brain waves and your serotonin and your dopamine levels, there's a chemical imbalance, pretty much. And the Adderall or the pills that you take that your doctor prescribes you is supposed to fill up those spaces to have you focus and hone in on stuff that you deem is unimportant at that time. But after you take the medication, you're like fully fired up to do whatever you want. You, oh, you need to, oh, oh, you asked me to do this? Oh, I'll get it done. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, um, it's good for goals, but also you can't be relying on that, guys. You know, anyone who's watching this who has ADHD, who, you have whatever. We can't be relying on willpower for medication. We have to do it ourselves, guys. And we have to build that self-discipline necessary to 
achieve our wildest dreams and also, you know, go against the odds. We don't need medication, guys. Seriously, we really don't. And I've always told my mom this, and she's like, well, that's the ADHD, that's the whatever. But guys, come, let's be real here. A person who didn't know he had ADHD, if there was a two parallel person, me who knows he has ADHD and a person who didn't, who just understood, who just literally realized he had now, he wouldn't care. He wouldn't be like, oh my God. He wouldn't be scratching his head going, oh my God, what's, ha what's happening? That would never happen. And I hope you guys understand what I mean by what's happening. It's kind of just like, oh shit, my life's over, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not over. Let's be real, guys. It's not over. There's billions of things that we can do in our life. We just have to choose what we want to do on each day. And uh, consistency also can be decently hard. Well it's, not, well, it's not actually hard because, like for me, I should be making videos on the Davy channel, and I'm not. Because I'm going to go back into, I want to I wanna get uh, into streaming. And doing videos like this, but live, and then having, being entertaining, edgy, whatever, humorous, and clipping it, and whatever, doing self-improvement streams, or whatever, and I think it'll be super interesting, and I know a lot of you guys will tune in, because it's going to be a very important time of all of our lives. We're all here as a community, trying to better ourselves, and this is just the next step forward. Me benefiting you, you benefiting me. Nice little value exchange. And for every, anyone who's uh, still watching this video, you know, it's going to get easier. I just wanted to vulnerably express how I feel when I'm on ADHD and how I act and interact with people or public settings, scenarios, how to do in my day-to-day -day life. So, you know, you can break out of your own comfort shell because there's so much stuff that in our world, guys, that just people just, it just goes unseen and it sucks. It really does. I know it sucks, but we can do it. We can break out of that dark tunnel and free ourselves from the matrix. No, I'm kidding. That sounds so stupid, but... Use your own perception of what I said in that little Shakespeare quote. Do whatever you want. But, um, yeah, you know, what can we do? Whoop-de-doo, cowboy. There's not, there's not really much we can do. You know, we just have to live life and be comfortable with ourselves, guys. Be comfortable in your own skin. There's nothing that I cannot achieve. Nothing. I will be going skydiving at 100,000 subscribers on my channel on Davy. I will be doing it. I know two years ago I said I'd have a million. And today and this year I'm saying I'm going to have a million. Because I will. I just need to work a little bit more harder. Not harder, smarter. Because if you were working in an oil rig or doing whatever, if everyone just worked hard, they'd be billionaires. But it's not about hard work. It's about smart, diligent, consistent, practical work. And working hard at the systems that produce the successes not necessarily always the output. It's the stuff behind the curtains that people don't see that produce the outcomes. Not the stuff that people, not the stuff at the end. It's the stuff that build the pathway to success, not the end desire. Like I can't just go, I can't just go, whoop, success. It's gradual from building systems and there's always gonna be setbacks, but eventually you slingshot yourself and you eventually get there to where you wanna be. All right, so. I love all of you guys, man. Never fucking give up on your dreams. Nothing is stopping you guys. Seriously, I promise you, bro. I will do whatever the I will do whatever I want. You will do whatever you want. Join the Discord and start making Fortnite maps today. I love you all. Follow my social medias. Let's fucking go, baby. 2024 is the year of self-improvement, baby. Love y'all. Peace.